I'm Raz Ringing for SCS Application, and this is... Well, we're here at the pregame tailgate, and I must say this is the most extravagant tailgate I've ever been to. The tailgate had everything. I decided to test my dancing skills. As you can see, I'm pretty amazing. The Vuvuzela master taught me how to party. Next, I headed over to the football minigame, where I clearly dominated. Then I had to tone it down with some delicious cupcakes, which every good tailgate needs. But the biggest rivalry of the weekend was not between Michigan or Michigan State, nor between Plymouth vs. Canton football, but rather the Canton student section vs. the Plymouth student section, and I was in the very middle of it. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing, said Optimus Prime in the first Transformers movie. That quote pretty much summed up the entire night. And so the battle of the student sections began, and I decided to get right in the middle of it and find out exactly what these student sections had to say, because this game was about to be epic. Just give us a victory right now. There's no need. We got the Dream Squad, Dream Team. 40 0 Plymouth. We have failed to lose. We are 33 0 in every game that we have shown up in. We are the best student section in the nation. Eight bar down, don't write it down. I'm gonna tell you, the Chiefs tonight will be amazing. We expect a victory tonight. Both teams had rock solid defense, which made the first two offensive drives very hard for both teams in the struggle for victory. However, when Canton got the ball back, Davion Stackhouse, number two, decided to change the pace by smashing through Plymouth's defensive line. But the Plymouth defense made it clear that they were definitely not going down without a fight. Late into the first quarter, Davion Stackhouse had an astonishing 35-yard run into the depths of the Plymouth defense followed by a diving touchdown, putting the Chiefs up 6-0. After that, the Vuvuzela chorus sounded, and the Canton student section went wild. Taking advantage of a bad snap, number five, Ryan Powell, ran it in for a two-point conversion. This was soon followed by Zach Marlette's 12-yard run for a Canton Chiefs touchdown. But the Plymouth offense saw a sheer of hope when Dante Fox ran a 60-yard kickoff return. Like a celebrity out of rehab, the Canton defense got their act together and got three sacks in a row. With the ball back in their possession, the Chiefs had a 13-yard touchdown pass from Ben Merbler to Ryan Powell ending the half. The halftime show consisted of a trifecta of performances by the Canton Palm team, the marching band, and the Canton Cheer team. Those great performances were then followed by the usual banner procession. The Canton homecoming king and queen were Marco DeLuca, and Rachel Nowak. I'm here with um the uh, Plymouth student section and how you guys feel about the game so far. I know you're losing, but is there still hope? Um, there could be still hope. I agree. Like, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> all right. I mean, that there you have it. I mean, so there is to it. And now back to some football action. Very much like the first half, the Canton Chiefs were showing no signs of mercy and they put up two more touchdowns before the game ended.
I'm here with BPS. I mean, obviously a big game. How do you guys feel about that win? Um, I mean, it's just good to win another game. Uh, as far as this is on our goal list, this was just another game. I mean, we didn't want to make it the Super Bowl, hype it up too much. It's good to get another victory with my boys, and um, I'm just looking forward to more games. Well, it was my last homecoming game, so I had to do it big. I went out, played hard, did work with my boys, and we got the W. Um, like I tell everybody before every game, I just do what I can do best, ball out. But I have mad respect for the Plymouth team. Um, they were a really good team, and I don't want to take anything away from them. Good game. Very good team. I'm the phenom. They were definitely a really good team. We'll probably see them again. It was a good game. I just have to let y'all know I'm the savage. <laughs> Phenom out. I'm here with Coach Beckler. This is a very talked about and very hyped game. Um, what do you think was special about this game and how'd you get the win? Well, number one, you got to stop the run and our defense played excellent tonight. Um, and we made them a little more one dimensional after we got a little lead on them. And they were able to put some pressure on the quarterback. Uh, he's a good quarterback. They got very good receivers. You know, they're a great team. Uh, it was the score is more competitive than or the game is more competitive than what the score showed. And then offensively, we just were able to do what we want to do. And uh, again, they were well coached, had a great scheme. It, it took us a, a few minutes to adjust to what they were trying to do. And uh, hey, they're a good team. And, you know, we'll probably see them again in the playoffs. They're, they're, they're for real. And um, one last thing, who would you give the game ball to? Uh, the entire defense, um, offensive line. Uh, Zach Merrillet had a pretty good game before back tonight, finally. So. All right, there you have it, folks. I mean, Friday night football at its finest. I mean, two good teams. I mean, Canton came out with a W. Final score, Canton 36, Plymouth 0. I'm Ryan Schwinke, and good night. <laughs>